How's it going? This is Trevor Lampton and uh, today we're going to be looking at the evolution of skateboarding from an engineering standpoint. We're going to be uh, looking at three boards and taking them to different areas and testing them and skating them and just uh, see where ones thrive and where ones fail. Alright, the first board we got to look at here is uh, a board that came roughly around the 60s and upwards of the 70s. It's a uh, banana shaped board. We've upgraded the wheels and bearings and stuff but otherwise it's got normal steel trucks and uh, their smaller base which was like the style back in the day. Alright, the next board we got is uh, one that came shortly after that. As you can tell, the board's much wider, much more room to stand, easier to skate, much larger trucks, different wheels and everything. It's uh, The second board we'll be uh, testing out at places and stuff. And The third and final board is the normal board for uh, this time era. This is the board that I ride all the time. It's a present day skateboard. The only thing's different about these boards, it's uh, kind of in the middle. I mean, this shape is perfect. It's got concave and a pop on the nose and tail, which uh, allows you to do more uh, present tricks. And uh, I mean, that's just one of the many ways engineering has helped uh, skateboarding evolve. But uh, so let's get on to uh, trying these boards. And All right, uh, the first thing we, we notice about this board is it has a tiny little tail on it and a really small nose. It's not really meant for skating half pipes, as you can tell. You don't have much room to stand up here, but we're going to try it anyway. But remember, you always got to have your helmet on. But uh, so what you're going to see is how you can't really do airs on this board because it has no nose. Because when you slide your foot up, there's nothing to catch it there. It'll just, it'll just come off. It's going to be really difficult. But uh, we're going to give it a whirl anyway. All right, here we go. Make sure you have your helmet and you know what you're doing and uh, skate within your ability. As you can tell, it won't lock into the coping really well because there's not enough trucks. It's not meant for grinding. It, uh, it, it handles really bad in transition. It's really wobbly. And we're going to move on to the next board, which is a step up and actually semi meant for this terrain. All right, let's get right, on to that The second board. board we got is from around the 70s. Now, these boards came into play when there started being a lot of people skating pools and homemade ramps started coming into play, kind of like this one. As you can tell, this board has a much larger truck base, much wider, it locks into the coping a lot better, it's a lot easier to do uh, ramp tricks on. It's got a much wider tail, but it still lacks the nose and the concave on the nose, which you can do airs on. It's, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult to skate than a normal board, but way easier than the last board. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Make sure you always got your helmet on. This board you can do tricks to tail like that last one and uh, it's easier to skate, locks into the coping. And now we're going to test our last board on this terrain and uh, that one should be the best. Okay, now our third and final board is the most pressed board they make. Um, it's got seven normal plies, the other board's got the same amount of plies and it's really strong but uh, the main difference is like the nose and the tail. If you look, the nose is curved up and so is the tail. There's concave, it's so that when you do an ollie, you press down on the tail and your foot slides up and it'll catch this area and it'll bring the board up in the air. It's got uh, perfect size trucks and wheels, just wide enough to lock onto the coping but not wide enough to where it's hard to control. So now we're going to skate with this board and uh, show you just by skating why it's the best one. see I can do airs on this board I can do tricks like this where you go up and when you pop it's coming back and your foot will catch it it'll pull it into the air this board's well-rounded and it's perfect for these conditions it's uh, my favorite choice of board it's what I always ride locks in great on the coping just handles really well these urethane wheels are also awesome on this Lampton and uh, looking at skateboarding from an engineering standpoint and going through the years and looking at the evolution of the boards